Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So if you are interested in Meshtastic, the off-grid LoRa messaging system, which has recently taken the world by storm, then let me show you a couple of new products from Seed Studio. Now this is the SenseCap card tracker T1000-E for use with Meshtastic. It's a slight redesign of the T1000, which was used on LoRa WAN. But this T1000E is being designed to flawlessly work with Meshtastic and the Meshtastic companion app. Now this thing is small, it's only slightly thicker than the size of a credit card. It incorporates a Semtec LR1110 LoRa module, a Nordic NRF52840 Bluetooth module, and a MediaTek AG3335 GPS module. Now this combination provides high precision, low power, position and communications using Mestastic over LoRa. Now the casing has an IP65 rating, meaning it's dust tight and it's protected from water jets in any direction. It has an internal rechargeable battery with a 700 milliamp hour capacity and it comes with a one meter magnetic charging and programming cable. Now, if you're wondering how much this thing weighs, well, it's just a mere 32 grams and that's including the internal battery. Now on the front, well, assuming it's the front, there is one button to power it on and off. There's also a buzzer and a status LED. On the rear, you'll notice four gold colored terminals. Now this is where the included magnetic USB cable attaches to. Not only does this charge the internal battery, but it also provides a serial port when connected into a computer. Now this means you can use this cable and method to update the firmware on the T1000E. Holding the button powers the device on and you'll get a little audible tone once it's turned on. You also get an audible tone when it powers off. If we now take a look at the Meshtastic app, and for this I'll be using my Apple iPad, first we need to connect to the device. A Bluetooth will automatically be turned on on the T1000E, and assuming your iPad's Bluetooth is turned on, you should now see the device listed. The default pairing code for this device has been configured to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and once paired, you just need to go ahead and set up the LoRa region. Now, as I'm in the UK, I'll select Europe, which will tell the device to use the 868 MHz band. At this point, you should be able to configure the device using the Meshtastic app, just like you would any other Meshtastic node. And if you're within range of any other nodes, they'll start appearing on the node list. Okay, so let's take a look at the next Seed Studio Meshtastic product. Well, in fact, this has been around a little longer, but now Meshtastic firmware is available. The Wio Tracker 1110 dev kit for Meshtastic can be used in modular fashion, adding supported peripherals and modules as required. Now I got a couple of extra items with mine. I got the Grove Air 350 GPS module and the Grove 0.96 inch OLED display. Now I also received a dedicated LoRa antenna with a little IPEX to SMA fly lead. Now we'll take a closer look at these modules in a moment. And the main dev board comes with a 3.7 volt rechargeable LiPo battery for portable use, but you can power it via the USB-C socket if required. A Semtec LR1110 LoRa module and the Nordic NRF52840 Bluetooth module is included on board. And that's along with an inbuilt LoRa antenna, a GNSS antenna, Bluetooth antenna, temperature and humidity sensor, and six module sockets, which include three digital, one analog, one UART, and one I2C port. Now there's also a battery socket at the bottom near the USB-C socket. Now it appears to have a Wi-Fi antenna, but I cannot get the Wi-Fi connection to work on my local router. But Bluetooth from that Nordic NRF works extremely well and with exceptionally good range. Now the onboard LoRa antenna is not active on the Meshtastic version as the board comes pre-modified to use the little IPEX connector instead. Now this allows the use of high gain external antennas via that little patch cable like this. 
Now, using a board like this for Mestastic development makes life easy when you want to add modules. Now, not just adding them in hardware connectivity, but also when adding them in software. So it's great for tinkerers. Now, each of these Mestastic devices shown in this video are only around $30 each, which is a pretty fair price in my opinion. Now, if you want to put all these electronics into a case, then you've got a couple of options. I think there's a clear case that you can get from the Seed Studio website, or if you own a 3D printer, you can download the STL files directly from the Seed Studio product page. They are free to download and allows you to print one in any color you like, just like this shown on the screen. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you in the next video.